Kenya's forest resources are very important to providing ecosystem services that we all rely on. This is reflected in a number of different national policies, most notably the constitution mandate to maintain at least 10% recover across the country. To help achieve this target, the government alongside stakeholders have undertaken a national assessment to ascertain the country's forest and landscape restoration opportunities. Speaking during the launch of the Forest and Landscape Restoration Program, Environment Cabinet Secretary Professor Judy Wahungu said 5.1 million hectares have been identified for reclamation. This is not a one-off uh, project. This is a project that we will continue to uh, into perpetuity. This is a long-term project. It is not just up to 2030. Our, our goal is to achieve the 5.1 million hectares by 2030, but for the environmental services that this restoration will provide, it has to continue for into perpetuity. According to Professor Hungo, the project will seek solutions to the country's environmental degradation that has resulted to acute water shortage in parts of the country leading to food insecurity. She explained that the exercise will also boost the country's plans to plant 2.5 billion trees by 2020. If we use our science and technology to analyze the opportunities and to assess the opportunities for restoring degraded land, it becomes a very powerful technical tool. When it comes to the mapping how we're going to do this, again, because we have the scientific evidence, we have a work program of how we're going to achieve this by 2030. We can also target the particular areas throughout the country and also put a budget line on each of uh, these areas. Kenya loses 6 billion shillings annually due to deforestation. Our national targets are also ambitious and, 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 and we know and we have the spirit and the goodwill to ensure that uh, those ambitious targets will be met. But we also understand that, that uh, climate change problems are impacting heavily on key economic and social sectors and therefore group of solutions uh, must be provided. We must also keep global temperatures as those population increase below 2%. This means cutting greenhouse gases we know by 80% by 2050. The opportunity for a restoration movement to make a real difference, a real difference in these urgent situations. Wildlife, which is Kenya's main attraction, is not spared as the 90% of wild animals are located in threatened ecosystems. Kenya forest cover currently stands at 7%. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.